leading tribe of Nablus, mining mineral culture to Bokur village, representing the Tikir tribe of Naglan, Mimi village culture to Kipri, representing the Yamkum tribe of Naglan, Intimate Youth Cultural Club, and in Kulungwa, Beren, representing the Ziliang tribe of Naglan. We also have the Garo Cultural Troupe, the Bagang village, Dimapu, representing the Garos of Naglan. Also with us, we have Yansurang Furai Shali Cultural Troupe, Kushiabil Dimapu, representing the Kacharis of Naglan. And last, but not the least, we have from New Chalkot, Beren, the Kuki Cultural Troop, representing the Kukis of Naglin. Can we all give a round of applause for all our 18 cultural troops? In spite of the rain, they are all here to perform for us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, to begin with our cultural performance for this morning, first up, we have Before we proceed to the cultural performance, we would have the traditional blessing from Mr. Bauloy Womshop. Mr. Bauloy Bomshak is currently the chairman in BBC Colony Longland. The traditional blessing translates, Oh Ho, we are the hornbills and tragopans of homeland. Oh, we wish the sun stay longer for today. Our hornbill is the royal among all kinds of birds. Even the mighty banyan trembles when it perches on its branch. You look beautiful even as you pick your song. You are everyone's envy when you spread your silver wings. You look majestic when you stretch and make a kingly pause. You smear your wings and tails with your own eating saliva. May the youth of our land grow tall like the height of the oak. May the almighty God bless our land. Indeed, it is a pleasure to have as our chief guest this morning, Lieutenant General R.P. Kalita, PVSM, UYSM, AVSM, SM, VSM, the General Officer Commanding in Chief, Eastern Command. At this point of time, on behalf of the government of Naglan and the, the people of Naglan, we would like to take this time to felicitate our chief guest. I kindly request our host for this morning, our honorable advisor for food and civil supplies, Mr. K.G. Sukalu, to kindly do the honors on behalf of the people of Nagaland. 
Thank you, sir. Also joining us, we have as our co-host, the advisor for fisheries and aquatic resources, Mr. A. Pamjung Jamir. We also have our honorable MLA of Naglin, Mr. Naiba Konya. Ladies and gentlemen, our chief guest is felicitated with a shawl, a frame, Thank you, sirs. It is indeed a pleasure to have all of you. In spite of the rain, we have made it here, and we thank you so much, and we hope that you will enjoy the programs to follow. Before we begin with our cultural program, we would like to introduce our partnering state. Our partnering state this year for the Hornbill Festival, we have our neighbors, the Assam State. Ladies and gentlemen, for the cultural program, we shall witness the performances from our neighboring state, Assam. But before that, we shall like to invite the officials and all the participating members from Assam. Leading the team, we have the nodal officer, Mr. Kishore Kumar Sharma. Alongside him, we have the program team leader, Mr. Ranjit Kumar Gogoi. All together, we have 15 performances, sorry, 15 performers from Assam. We kindly request the nodal officer and the program team leader to lead your artists up to the stage. For your information, the nodal officer, Mr. Kishore Kumar Sharma, is the lecturer, MPP Department, Dr. Pubin Hazarika Regional Government Film and Television Institute, Silla Changsari, Guwahati, Assam. On behalf of the Department of Art and Culture, the Government of Nagaland, we have our Commissioner and Secretary to the Government of Nagaland, Madam Ethel O. Nota, IAS, felicitating our honored guest here on stage. We also request our troop members to felicitate all the performing artists A big round of applause for all the performers from Assam.
A big round of applause for all our artists from Assam. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, first up performing for you this morning, we have Bongkuri Village Dance Group representing the Pochuri tribe of Nagaland. They will perform for you Bade which is Brewing Wine Dance. This folk dance is performed during important occasions and festivities by all age groups and gender to admire and honor the rich culture and customs of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all cheer for our cultural performers? They are performing in the rain and in this cold weather.
Gentlemen, the Pongkori village dance troupe PEG representing the Pochori tribe of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move on with one of our Naga culture troupe performances, we have a very special performance from the cultural troupe of Assam. Pippa is a popular folk music instrument used in Assamese traditional music. This traditional instrument is made out of a buffalo horn. This unique and indigenous instrument produces a rich, high-pitched tone the sounding of this instrument indicates the beginning of a ceremony associated with the Bihu festival of the Assamese people of Assam. Ladies and gentlemen, with their first performance, this is the paper recital.
for your information. The state of Assam is the state for this year's Hornbill Festival to 2023.
Bihu Festival is the pride of Assam. This festival is a festival of merrymaking, joy, and integrity. It is mainly associated with agriculture and also the harvesting season. The first performance that you witnessed was the Pepa recital, which is a popular folk musical instrument of the Assamese people of Assam. This musical instrument is made out of a bamboo, sorry, a buffalo horn. Following that, what you have witnessed is the traditional Assamese bihu song and dance. Ladies and gentlemen, in spite of all the difficulties here today, they have performed for us and for all their trouble to come here and perform for us. Can we give them another round of applause? Thank you. The next performers are the Gyansurang Purai Shali Cultural Troupe, Kushyabil Timabu, representing the Kacharis of Nagaland. This morning, they will be performing for you a folk dance of the Mech Kacharis of Nagaland. This dance is called Nagaland Raiju Ni Sikla Sing. This dance is accompanied by a very beautiful traditional song. The meaning, the meaning of this beautiful song is, we are the beautiful people. We are the Mech Kachari themselves of Nagaland. And through this dance, we convey our greetings and respect to all the different communities of Nagaland and the world. We also seek love and respect from everyone. Through this beautiful song, we pray to the Almighty Burai Fatao to bless everyone to live in peace and harmony. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kacharis of Nagaland with their performance of Nagaland Raiju Ni Sikla Singh.
Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Kachari Cultural Troupe with their performance of a folk song and dance called Nagalin Raiju Nisikla Jing. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have Bhattari Village, the Chopin Cultural Club, representing the Lota tribe of Nagaland. They will perform an indigenous game called Bono Eja Lenta. As you can see, an egg has been placed inside the stem of a banana's stem. In this indigenous game, the target is an egg, and the players attempt to break the egg by throwing a spear at it. The players are getting ready. Each player is given a bamboo spear. Here comes the first player. 
Morgan, the egg still remains safe and sound. <laughs>
on how, he, how close he is to the target. Nothing but you touches the heart. Nothing but you catches my eye. You are the one I feel dearly. Nothing but my promise is this, that you are mine. Seasons may change, but not my love. You are the one who I dearly value. My life is nothing without you. Ladies and gentlemen, performing for you next, we have the Mimi Village Cultural Troupe, Kifri, representing the Yemkyung tribe of Nagaland. They will be performing for you a traditional love song called Robi Robu Kun.
Ladies and gentlemen, what I have read before their performance is the lyrics of this traditional love song.
exiting the stage, we have the Yamkyung Cultural Troupe after their performance of a traditional love song. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have Intimate Youth Cultural Club Henning Kulwa Peren representing the Ziliang tribe of Nagaland. The Ziliang tribe will demonstrate Kalam Ta Kete, which is cotton spinning. Cotton is grown in plenty by some tribes of Nagaland. This cotton is used for sale as well as for commercial purposes.
The instruments used for spinning the cotton are the binkum, the machine which separates the seeds from the cotton, the lampi, string bow to soften and fluff the cotton, lemui, spindle to spin the cotton into thread. The song sung during this display of cotton spinning is called Kelang Lei. This song is sung while spinning cotton into thread. Ladies and gentlemen, the Intimate Youth Cultural Club, Henning Kulwa Baron, representing the Zilian tribe of Nagaland. Cotton is an integral part of the Naga culture. The clothes that we wear is made of cotton. As such, we also have another cotton yarning song by the Santam Sangli cultural troupe Twin Sang, representing the Santam tribe of Naglin. This performance is called the Kinki Yoki. Kinki Yoki is a song which signifies how cotton was grown, harvested, boiled, crushed, and then spun into thread. These threads were then weaved and used. The traditional attire of the Naga tribes were woven through the use of cotton. Ladies and gentlemen, the Santam Cultural Troupe with their performance of the cotton yarn song called Kinki Yoki.
Ladies and gentlemen, it was the duty of the women folk to weave. And during weaving, they would usually sing songs to keep themselves occupied. That was the Samtam cultural troupe with their performance of the Kinke Yoki or the Cotton Yarn Song. Next up, we have Kithaga Cultural Club, Chundlika Seminu, representing the Rengma tribe of Nagaland. They will perform a traditional game played by the villagers.
both boys and girls. It signifies the brightness or the intelligence of the growing boys and girls in the society. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kitada Cultural Club, Chunlika, representing the Regma tribe of Nagaland. Performing for you next, we have the Yongya Cultural Troop Society, Long Leg, representing the poem type of Nagaland. Making their way to the stage, we have the pop cultural troupe with their performance of the farmer's song called Ka Lumpu. This traditional song is sung by the farmers while working in the field. This song glorifies the rich land and the bountiful blessings upon the people. The lyrics also contains the names of the crops that they plant.
Ladies and gentlemen, exiting the stage are the Pop Cultural Troupe. Ladies and gentlemen, the last performance for this morning we have the Sumi Cultural Troupe.
this dance is performed, is perform performed to mourn the death of the warriors whom they called Agur Tobi at the end of the enemy. The Kokimi Cultural Society Pukuboto representing the Sumi tribe of Nagaland.